Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial, you guys, on a brand new pumpkin and melon farm. Now, what's great about this system is the fact that it's fully automatic and everything will go directly into that chest in front of you. So, it really automates the system. You don't have to do anything, and you can have this running 24 7. Now, if you ever feel like you want to turn off the system because you already have enough and you're good to go, we have a little switch in the back that if it's on, if the lights on that means that the system's off and once you activate it the system will start kicking on and you're gonna notice in a few seconds the timer will go on and the system will activate pushing everything forward into the water streams in front of you see and they'll all flow directly in the center where the hoppers will go directly into the chest in front of you which we saw earlier and the beauty about this guys you can make this any size and is lag free now, enough talking, let's jump right into it. Make sure you have a 13 wide by 23 long setup, like so. Now, right here in the middle, guys, we're going to go all the way to the back. We're going to count one, two, and three. And on the fourth block, we're going to place a block right there. The rest on torch on top, another block on top of it, and the rest on torch going forward with a block on top of that. And at this point, guys, we're going to create a torch tower. Now, when I say torch tower, I really mean a back and forth pattern between blocks and torches in this configuration. See? Fantastic. Now, definitely make this to your desired height just for now, about a few blocks high. And trust me, guys, whenever you want to make more levels, you will have to extend this further up. Now, right there behind, place a block with a repeater going forward and a rest of the line behind it and the lever in front of it, and you're going to activate it. That's going to turn off the system. So it controls the torch tile, which in turn controls the rest of the entire system. Now, place a comparator going forward with a dropper on the side with a hopper like so, going towards the dropper with one piece of dirt inside. Then you can place a block right there and there, and a repeater going towards the first block we placed with a comparator going towards the second block. Then right in the middle here, you're going to place two hoppers facing each other. Perfect. Then you can place a comparator going outwards with a block on the side, a block right there, and a repeater going forward. Then you're going to place a wrestling torch on both sides. Once you've done that, place two comparators like so going forward towards the hoppers and right behind the comparators. Once again, you're going to place two hoppers facing each other. And what we have here is a silent hopper timer. Now, on the left hand side, guys, you got the right here. And that's where you're going to put the amount of dirt you want to put. The more you put, I like to put 30 for the specific system. But if you put more, it's going to make the timer go longer. And on the left hand side, like I said earlier, you can place one piece of dirt. There you have it, guys. You should get this effect right away. And after a certain time, once it changes, you're going to know it's going to activate that hopper, I mean that dropper, and long story short, create a quick pulse. All right. Now, at this point, right here in the front, guys, we're going to add some stairs, and we're going to extend that all the way to the back end. Now, once you get back here, guys, you're going to leave two blocks of space right there and extend about three blocks wide. That makes sense. And over here, you're going to add another three blocks of stairs, creating this exact format. And, of course, connect it to the front. Now, right over here, you get your stone brick blocks and just wrap that around on both sides and then connect it right across. Now, once you've done that, right on top of the stone brick stairs, you're going to add some stairs again right on top of it and just kind of wrap that around. Then you're going to get your cobblestone, place two on the side of the rest of the lamp and one in the back like so. And whatever you do on one side, you're going to do on the other. Perfect. Now, right on the inside, guys, you're going to extend this about two blocks high. And you're going to wrap that on both sides. See? 
Now at this point, you're going to repeat this right across and then connect it all around to create this kind of effect. Now on the inside here, once you've done that, just connect it with the rest of the cobblestone and there you have it. You should have this kind of look and on top of the cobblestone, add some stairs and wrap it right around like so. And you're going to place some stairs on top of this cobblestone and once again, repeat the same exact format. What we have here is an awesome foundation for the actual build. Now on the inside here, you're going to add some stone right across. And on each side, you're going to extend it right to the back. And two right there. See how we kind of just wrap that right around. And like I said, guys, whatever you do on one side, you repeat on the other side. Place some more blocks right there. Just keep this a little more tight knit. And of course, connect it towards the front. Now you're gonna get your dirt block or your grass. Go about one block in, place it right there. Go about one block in, like so. And you're gonna extend that right to the back and that should be exactly 15 blocks long. Perfect. Now, once you've done that, go right underneath here, guys, and extend this right across because you want to create a nice little platform here. See? It's like a little trench. Now, once you created this awesome trench, place a block of water or a bucket of water on each corner. Before you do that, on the first bucket, place a piece of dirt on the side temporarily, delete the center of this, and this is where you're going to place two hoppers like so, going towards the outside of this. So it's all going towards that direction. And delete that block, and that's your center piece right there. See? You're going to delete that, and a block on the side, and this is where you're going to place your chest or your collection area. And because of the stairs, you go open up the chest and won't have that issue. And of course, guys, repeat the same exact thing on the other side. Now, on each corner here, guys, we're going to place one bucket of water. Now, you're going to get your oak wood planks, spread that right across and on the other side as well. And starting there, you're going to place a piston with a gap in between. And fill it up like so with the oak wood, creating this awesome effect, guys. Like I said previously, let's do that on the other side. And if you have to pause the video, feel free to pause at this point. Now, place your block right there parallel to the pistons and extend that right across till you get to your torch tower. See? And it connects perfectly with that redstone torch. And just place a straight line of redstone dust, about 15 blocks in total. And you can see how the system is being activated. Now, you're going to place a dirt block like so at an angle. And over here as well. And I'm going to show you how to create the other layers now. Now, at this point, these layers are all repetitive. So extend that right across and repeat that on this side as well. Then you're going to place the block on top of the rest on dust because we don't want to mess that up. And I know a lot of people like to add water sources to, I guess, for the pumpkins itself. So for that case, guys, you're going to go about eight blocks in towards the middle of this entire design. And place one bucket of water right there. You see how it stops right at the edge? You should get that same effect, otherwise it's not in the center. Once you've done it on both sides, that's going to nourish all the grass once you start planting your seeds. Now place another block right on top of that stone. And that's once again is going to connect to the rest on torch tower and your straight line of rest on dust. Perfectly. 
Once again, guys, you're going to add your pistons like so in this exact pattern. Leaving a black space in between each one. And then you get your block of choice. So if you want to use oak wood or whatever block you want to use, and you're going to place it in this format right across on both sides. Now, like I said previously, guys, place your block of dirt at an angle like so. And what we're going to create here is the same exact thing that we just did previously. Now, at this point, pause the video and you can really make this any height you want. Just make sure your torch tower matches up with that redstone dust. You see? Now we're adding the block right in the middle to cover the redstone dust. Then we go about eight blocks in to add our bucket of water. See, so just it's all repetitive. And the great thing is a very simplistic design. Because each floor will be activated and deactivated the second the other floor starts on. So you're not getting all these pistons going off all at the same time. Each one is going off back to back to back. And that's where you reduce that lag effect. Now, once you got your desired high guys, you're going to just cap this off with some blocks right on top. Now, like I said, guys, once you're done creating the desired kind of height of the system that you want to create, then you're going to add some upside down stairs right there. You see? And on this side as well. Now, like all things, guys, add some torches. You really want to light this up to your, to your style. Add as many torches as you want, as long as it doesn't interfere with the plants or the mechanism itself. Now, once you add your lighting on both ends, right here in the corner, parallel to the dirt, you're going to add spruce wood from the base all the way up to the actual stair that's upside down. And in the middle here, guys, you're going to add some oak wood and just fill this up till you get to the top end. Perfect. And over here, guys, just repeat the same exact thing. And in this case, just the spruce wood. Now we're going to get your stone. You're going to place it right there where that piston's at and just wrap it around. And then you can extend that all the way up to the top, like so. And just pause the video and just kind of take your time on this. Now, once you got that look going on, on the top, you're going to extend it by one trim, like so, to create this kind of cap off. And what we're creating here is an awesome pillar. So you're going to add some upside down stairs, and then another row of upside down stairs right on top of that to create this kind of effect. Now, this is the fun part, guys. Right there between the pistons, that's where you're going to start planting either your pumpkin seeds or your melon seeds. So pause the video at this point. Make sure you take your time on this. Plant your seeds the way you want to. You can either leave it like that and let it grow naturally or by itself, or you can add some bone meal and just expedite the process because all you really need to get this going is the stem. So once you have that stem, guys, it's going to start growing immediately. You see that? Fantastic. Now, of course, guys, we don't want these things flying anywhere else besides where it needs to fly at. Now you're going to add your glass and extend that all around. You want to cover up this entire section from front to end like so. You see, creating this awesome barrier. Now, starting there, right at the edge where the stairs at, you're going to wrap it around with some slabs all the way around to the other side. Until you connect with the other set of stairs, you see? Now, starting here, you're going to add a stair right there. And you're going to wrap it around like so. Now, when you get to the back here, it gets a little different. So, you're going to add two more like so. Then, you're going to curve it and place one right where the stone is at. And then, just continue on like so till you connect to the front end. And 
and right over here guys you're gonna add some slabs and just give that extended detail to really make this look a little more realistic and it really adds some depth to the actual roofing of this whole thing now you're gonna use a filler I like to use oak wood use whatever you want but over here where the glass is at make sure you fill that with oak wood now once you've done that you're gonna add your second layer of stairs because one we are making a roof and you're gonna extend it right around but instead of going there, you're just going to put a straight line right across. You're going to fill this little gap here with slabs. Once again, guys, it's all about the details. Now, once you connect that like so, perfect. That one more stay there. You're going to fill this up once again with a fill of your choice. And then put some slabs right on top of it, guys. And the system is complete. All you have to do is turn it on, and there you have it, guys. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.